What's good, party people? Today's live stream is brought to you by Ambition Life Company, proudly owned and operated by Narashi Williams. Ambition Life Company is the life brand. It's not just a clothing line, ladies and gentlemen, but it's a lifestyle. You are what you wear. So get it, live it right now at AmbitionLifeCo.com. Listen, they got a huge $8 sale going on right now on the website. You need to get yourself fresh. Get yourself fresh, fellas, ladies, and the kids. Get the whole family fresh. Do yourself a favor, style your ambition, and grab your gear today. Check them out on Instagram at I'm Ambition Life. And listen, $8 today, only while supplies last. Get it, live it. Let's go. Party people. Party people, party people, listen. It is 10.51. This is a late night live. This is for all of my creators, for all of my entrepreneurs, for all of my business owners that are burning the midnight oil. What is going on? Listen, y'all know how. You, Ken, you already know. Ken already know he done dropped it. I got a one and I got a two. That means that I can be heard. That means that I can be seen. I'm glad about it. Listen, I don't want to take up a lot of time tonight because I know a lot of you that are working you got to get back to work. So I want to make sure that you can have all the time you need. But we got a new show going on tonight. It's called What's Your Eight? The hustle never stops. Listen, I tried this a couple of weeks ago. And um, shout out to my to my brother from another mother, my mentor, uh, Ken Branson and Mastermind Productions that's watching. Um, he had a similar issue last night. And I just want to say I love y'all. But y'all be letting your people just, you know, just 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 you know leave us out the dry you know we had a crazy show was great crazy echo didn't hear it didn't notice it till i went back and watched the replay and i was like oh my god this is absolutely horrible absolutely horrendous i had to delete it i had to get rid of it had to throw it away but listen we're back tonight again specifically this is something that we do later in the evening again because this is for your entrepreneurs. This is for your creatives. This is for your business owners, um, specifically those that work a nine to five. Then they clock out and then they got to go work a five to nine. And so if you know what that grind is like, listen, I need you to tag an entrepreneur. I need you to tag a business owner. I need you to share this with somebody right now in the midst of pandemic, in the midst of COVID that needs a little bit of encouragement that needs a little bit of a push. Just trying to figure out, yo, how in the world am I going to make it through this? And for those of you that have some time to kind of write out those business plans, write out those visions, write out those dreams. I got a special treat tonight. Again, none other than the owner and operator of Ambition Life Company herself. I'm going to bring her up next. I'm going to bring her up next, but I want to give a little more time. I need y'all to get some more people in the room. So do me a favor. Give me 20 more people in the room, and we're going to get this thing popping. We'll go to a quick break. Give me 20 more people. I need you to share this. 
Share this in every single group you're in. Share, I need you to tag everybody you can that you know is the business owner, especially if they're a female. Let's get this thing popping. We're going to come back in two minutes. All right, deuces. All right, y'all know what it is. We are back. We are back. We are back. Listen, appreciate it, Justin. Uh, listen, we are here. We are here. We are here. We are ready to go. Again, none other than the genius herself. We have Miss Narasha Williams live tonight. Narasha, how is it going? Oh, man, it's going pretty good. Pretty good. I could, I can't really complain. I'm a little tired, but I can't really complain outside of that. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, listen, y'all, I need y'all to let me know. I'm about 100% sure there's not an echo this time. So I need you to confirm, somebody to confirm in the comments. Please confirm that we do not have an echo, that you can hear me loud and clear, that you're able to hear Narasha loud and clear, okay? That's all I need to know. If you can hear everybody loud and clear and you don't hear an echo, I need you to drop a one in the comments right now, please. Because I promise you, I'm not ashamed of shutting down the live stream. I'll shut it down quick. We, we, can't, we can't have that again. Okay. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Ken. We are good to go. All right. So, again, we tried this. Um, I think it was like... March 15th, 16th, something like that. Um, right. Appreciate it. Rod Ross says everything sounds good. Um, we tried this and um, yeah, everything went great. So we thought until I got to the end and I was like, Narasha, we got to throw it away. We got to scratch it. Um, horrible. It was terrible. The content was great, but the echo, we just couldn't, couldn't overcome it. But so we're running this again, again. Thank you so much for you guys that did not hear tonight's live stream is sponsored by ambition life company who which narasha happens to be the proud creator owner operator director producer designer um hr you know finance payroll all of that <laughs> all things and um you know they, she has a crazy eight dollar sale going on right now i promise y'all y'all ain't gonna never see these prices again this is covid this is coronavirus you better get these eight dollars while you can 
You know what I'm saying? Well, Cause I, cause, look, because I guarantee you, unless the Lord says otherwise, you probably never going to see these prices again. So definitely take advantage of that. But listen, like I said, I don't want to belabor the time. I know y'all got things to do. We want to jump right into it. Narasha, let's kind of pick up where we left off. Well, actually, COVID, we like we coronavirus hadn't really popped off like that. Um, not in the States, you know, mm -hmm. it, it was becoming a thing, um, you know, everywhere else, but, and it was, you know, we were kind of on the edge of our seats, like what was going to happen. But, um, you know, last time we left off, you were making, you know, hand sanitizer, you know, right. it was just like, yo, we saw a need, you jumped in there and you started making hand sanitizer, which I think is the mark of a true entrepreneur. A lot of people talk about it. But you actually jumped out there and you actually did it. We've transitioned from hand sanitizer <laughs> to now we got the whole, not just regular face masks, but if I'm not mistaken, they're reusable. Reusable and they're the filtered. Okay, face yo, mask. okay, all right. You got to explain that to the people. How in the world, how in the world does that work? You, you got to explain how in the world do you have a reusable face mask with a filter? Uh, well, one, it's cotton, 100% cotton. So we all know that 100% uh, cotton, you can wash that, you can reuse it. Um, and then with the filter, um, so uh, my friend Kim, um, Purple Empire, she is the one that I'm doing the collab with. So she's doing all the sewing and doing all that stuff like that. Um, but there's a way to, almost like the filter in your house where you can, where it filters through like particles, pollen, um, all those types of things. So it catches that. And then you're able to take it out, either wash it, throw it away, or, you know, reuse it however you want to do. But ultimately, the mask itself, um, you can wash and reuse. Yo, okay. So I have not seen that anywhere on the market. Not in Walmart. Not in Target. Not in Dollar <laughs> Tree. Not in Dollar General. You know, not, not in Family Dollar. Y'all heard it. We went from hand sanitizer to face mask. Um, I don't know what's gonna be next, but what? What? I, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm. I'm gonna ask you the way I'd normally ask this question. Like, what possessed you to do that? Like, what? Like the whole like again because I, I, like every like we all see the need, but it's like you don't see a lot of people that are jumping. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying out there to say, yo, this is something I'm gonna do. Like. I sell, and, and, and for those that are watching for the first time that probably didn't get to see it the last time, let's backtrack a little bit, um, because the whole hand sanitizer thing, it was more than just it being a need. It actually was kind of a like, yo, this will be just something dope to even just include, you know, in the business model that you have to go along with your apparel. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that a little bit as far as like what just what what just made you decide to jump out there and do that? Uh, well, actually, someone hit me up um, in my inbox and was like, does Ambition have face masks? And if so, I buy one. So I was like, no, but, you know, there's something to think about. And okay. literally, uh, my best friend, Kim, she sent us the text and she sent a picture of the face mask that she did. And the ones that she started with, it didn't have the filters. It was just a regular, you know, regular 100% uh, cotton. And then I was like, oh, man, let me let me think a little bit, because um, it's not just the coronavirus that's out here. Um, I have allergies really bad, um, sinuses and all that stuff like that. I mean, um, so a lot of people that I'm around, pollen is the devil. Um, <laughs> I hate it. Right. <laughs> Every time you go right. outside, you know, you got to watch what you're touching. And so um, I talked to Kim. We said uh, we talked about it a little bit. And I was like, what do you think about doing a collab for it? You know, you do the sewing, you do all that stuff like that. And pretty much I promote it. I, um, I put my name out there for it. Uh, I put your name out there for it. And we just make it happen for um, what's needed at the time. Because I was using the, um, I think the regular ones that they have at the stores. Mm -hmm. Those they were okay, and then I um I had some that I got from like Home Depot a while ago. Okay, they had like some extra like little strings of something in it, okay. and I was like, I can't do this. And because the other side is, you know, with the virus out, you can't if you get lint in your mouth or you get the little, you can't right. you can't take it out. So right. I'm walking around with like, you know, <laughs> with, <laughs> right, like, um, right. 
and and I don't like my hair to be restricted. So with those masks, you have to put it all over your head. Um, with the mask that we've done is it's just your ears. Okay. Okay. So and all of that can be purchased through the website. Yes. Yo. So okay. Eleven dollars. Gotcha. Y'all already know what that is. Ambition Life Co. Dot com. Make sure you put the co on the end, C O before the dot com. Yeah, I just I think I think that's so dope again because we see we hear a lot of people. You know, people talk a big game. It's like, yo, mm -hmm. I'm an entrepreneur. It's like, to me, other than branding, is like the most overrated, overused term. You know, what I'm saying of like 2019, 2020. It's like, mm -hmm. who's not an entrepreneur? But when you really, when push comes to shove. It's like, you know, can you produce on the things that you're talking about? And I think that's dope yep. that that says so much for somebody to bring something to you. It's like, yo, do you do this? And it's like to be like, you could have just you could have said no and then just walked away from it mm -hmm. and been like, eh, you know, I don't do it. But you you saw an opportunity. And I think that's, you know, that's one of the things that I want to stress to people and people to understand that entrepreneurship is a mindset. You know, mm -hmm. I want people to understand Absolutely. that it's not it's not all about being a business owner. It's not all about having an LLC. It's not all about, you know, S Corps and C Corps and all of their, all, all that is good. The legalities and the logistics of it is great. It is absolutely mm -hmm. necessary, but it is a mindset. And again, it's the mindset that you had, you know, to be able to just say, hey, on a whim, do you do this? Mm -hmm. Shoot. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me a day. You know, let me, let me get back yeah. to you. Let me get back to you and I'm going to have something for you. Um, one of the things we talked about the last time is just, you know, the grind, you know, the, the title of this is the hustle never stops. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I just want to bring light to entrepreneurs that, you know, like you, you're still working, you know, you still have a responsibility, um, a full time job, right. A full time job like we're in the world how, how do you find time to work full time and still manage a business still make time for family friends and loved ones still go to sleep still eat you know still remember to brush your teeth because i don't think people understand the magnitude of what it takes to do that and you're doing it at a successful level and so it's mm -hmm. like yo you know i'm pretty sure you may get it all the time people may think Yo, you do like ambition life like full time. It's like, oh, like this not is yet. Look, not yet. Yeah, not yet. You know, but mm -hmm. but this is just like, whoo, whoo, you know. So how how do you where do you find the time, you know, to just to get all of that done? For those who are wondering, you know, it's like yo, I want to do this, but it's like before you jump out there, let me help you understand, you know, everything that goes into that. Um, I think the biggest part of it is uh, dedication and persistence. I think a lot of times we put in to everything else that we want to do. And so if this is at the end of the day is going to yield a profit, not just for me, but for my children and my children's children, well, why not do it? So, you know, um, and not to say that you can't go to the movies, you can't go to this place. I go and I hang out, you know, I go right. to church. I, you know, I'm, I do a lot in church. I do, you know, every I have a lot going on, but I think when you, when you're focused and you take the time to really um, do it. And I think when you do it for purpose and not for money, I think that's when um, it makes the difference. Uh, like when that. you see it happening, when you right. see it unfold before your eyes. Um, I was telling uh, one of my friends today, I was like, you know, uh, there were so many, I think we had like over 85 orders that came in alone today. Wow. Uh, for face masks. And not, I'm not talking about the t-shirts or anything like that, just the face masks. Wow. Um, and I asked her, I said, do you want me to stop the site? She was like, no, keep going. She was like, this is what we're doing. If we got it, we're going to do it. And and I think the mentality of it is if I'm going to work for my full-time job hard right? and I can't work for myself just as hard, right. then my priorities are out of order. Now, granted, you know, my job is my job. I'm going to do my work because they pay me. Right. Uh, but this next pay that I'm working towards is going to be the pay that continues to pay me that continues on down the line um, and so i think it's about uh dedication and, and persistence and definitely of course you know hard work uh don't overwork yourself i've done that a few times i've overworked myself i stress myself out um to the point you know my friends family like look you need to you know take your time slow down um there is a rest period mm -hmm. uh, but when you're not resting you should be figuring out doing something i'm talking i'm writing it down i'm 
jotting it in my notes on my phone, um, talking it out. And then the other side is I have support. I have people around me um, who like, uh, aren't you, what you doing? Aren't you supposed <laughs> to be doing this? Have you, have you right. signed up to do this yet? Have you, and I think when you have that, you know, going for yourself, I think that's the, that's the fuel to the fire. That that's what kind of keeps it going when people um, believe in you. Um, and I think I hear a lot of people say, you know, um, if you're waiting for your friends and your family to support you, um, then your business is law or some statement. Mm -hmm. I don't listen to that stuff uh, because I have people around me who, you know, they push, they're positive and they're honest. And if something don't look right, if it's not going like it's supposed to, or I need to take a moment to scale back, you know, I have, so I have a graphic design business as well. I took a minute to solely focus on that. I put ambition on hold for a while. Nobody knew like that. But I put ambition on hold for a while, and I solely focused on the creative agency part, the graphic design part, making sure that things were together. And I think, again, you just have to figure out what you want to do. And if, if entrepreneurship is what you want to do, then do it, you that, know, um, while you're doing your full time. That's big. Don't just walk right. off your job if you don't got faith. It's not there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's real. That's real. Um, yo, you guys, I'm sorry. Um I'm using a stream key tonight, um, and I know some of you are, don't know what the heck that is, so that's why I can't put the comments on the screen tonight. Um, Ecam, if you're listening, y'all need to fix that. But um, Ken, <laughs> Ken is dropping in here tonight. Ken talking about we got the power to take over. I'm just waiting mm -hmm. on y'all. And uh, of course, he he Ken Ken is one of those people. He's always ready to go. But you know, you definitely, mm -hmm. you know, I I love Ken and I respect the grind because it's like at the drop of a hat, Ken is one of those people. You know, just like mm -hmm. you, where it's like, do you do such and such? Like, give, give me five minutes. And, and, and yes, I do it. Um, and then he also said it's almost time to let that joint go. So I, I guess he, he's being he's being prophetic. You know, it's like it it, 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 it is about almost that. Time. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real, though. Like and, and I put something out there today. Yesterday I went live. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we showed, you know, the video from B. Simone. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. um, yo, like, that jump was just so, 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 so crazy. And, and, and it just reiterates, you know, what you just said. Because it's one thing to say it. Um, and, and it's one thing to have the drive. But mm -hmm. it's another thing to put the work in. And then it's another thing to put the work in, and you got people around you that's working just as hard, if mm -hmm. not harder, than you mm -hmm. are. And, and you touched on that as far as the support system, because I think a lot of times, you know, when you first get started, you know, you look for your family and your friends to be the first people um, that kind of support you. And for the most part, I mean, they do. You know, mama, auntie, mm -hmm. uncle, they're going to be like, oh, y'all buy a shirt, baby, you know, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> But then, yeah. you know, after that, it's kind of like, yo, like, y your vision was bigger than just your family mm -hmm. wearing, you know what I'm saying, wearing your merch or apparel or, you know, buying your products mm -hmm. or whatever. And so sometimes the level of support that we're looking for, you know, that we actually need, it doesn't come from them. A lot of people get stuck right there mm -hmm. um, because it's like it breaks their heart. It's like, yo, I can't believe you didn't support me. It's like, yo, it's not even a technically it's not their responsibility. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't, I don't trip off of that for whatever reason. And I think it's probably how, you know, how I grew up. I, you know, never grew up really um, depending and waiting for people. I, if you're not going to do it, you know, I'm going to do it on my own. And, and the other side is uh, my church. Uh, when I first started with my T-shirts, man, every fourth Sunday is Youth Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, every fourth Sunday, almost, uh, I was putting out another T-shirt or, um, you know, all, most of my church one Sunday, wow. I think, gems. had on all, all, all of my shirts. Gems. And that's, that's, just, that's what, you know what I'm saying, like, pushes you to go even further. I think, yo, so that's, that's dope because when we talk about marketing strategy, I told y'all, um, y'all need to share this. You should have shared this. And, and it's crazy because somebody going to be in my inbox tomorrow. Somebody going to be in the <laughs> Russia inbox tomorrow asking information. And it gets to a point where it's like, yo, right now my inbox is on information overload. So I tell you ahead of time, if I get to you, I get to you. If I don't, y'all, y'all got to drop this money. I still got to work. Mm -hmm. You know, we still got this nine to five. This is what this is all about. So if you want that right. information, you got to make it so I can give you that information full time. Um, but what you just said 
even even from a strategy, you know, a real gym for those of you that are trying to get into apparel, just just, just products. Period. Like when you understand, on IG is somewhat called like the influencer route, and so mm-hmm. you know you'll get frustrated because it's like, yo, I know my design is dope. I know this is dope. You know, I can't get it out there. You know, all it really takes is one person. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying to really to really get that too. And so, um, you know, one of the things, you know, that I've noticed, you know, about about you and your brand is your ability to capitalize on having brand ambassadors. And so mm-hmm. when, when you have like a mar- like the church, like we don't look at and, and this is a conversation for another day. I don't want to get on, but <laughs> <laughs> we don't we look at church for church and, mm-hmm. and we don't look at what comes along the opportunities that come along with that. Now I'm not saying take it, taking advantage of the church, but when you have a relationship where you can, yo, every fourth Sunday you putting out a new shirt and everybody in the church is wearing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm looking around like, yo, everybody got on my shirt. They finna leave. They finna go out to eat. They finna go to the store. They about to go to the Walmart. They about to go to the mall. They about to go somewhere, they, right? Guess what they're going to be wearing? They're going to be wearing my shirt. And for those of you that's getting started, yo, you might need to just give away, like, you might need to find the 10 most popular people you know and just give them some free merch and be like, yo, I don't know you. You don't know me. Whatever. Wear. If you don't like it, don't wear it. But I'm going to keep flooding you with stuff, you know what I'm saying, until that happens. Um, mm-hmm. That's the end. That's the end of that. That was free. We're not giving out no more information. <laughs> that, that was free game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ken said, not only do you need faith, but you got to put the work in along with it. Absolutely. 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 That's, you know, that, that's definitely sound doctrine. Um, we preach it. That's, that's the one thing I don't understand. We, we preach it. We prophesy it. We talk about it. But we don't live it. And, mm-hmm. and, and which is getting to my next point. You know, one of the things, you know, that, that I thought was so dope. Um, even yesterday we put on the live, it was like, yo, I hope you got a trademark, but, but the mindset, you know, get it, live it, you know, which is what we're talking about. It's like, you know, it's, it's not enough to say it. It's not enough to put the work in, but it's like, it's a lifestyle. Like, I know that's mm-hmm. one of your things with ambition. It's like, it's not just a clothing brand, you know, it's a mm-hmm. lifestyle. That's what's in, you know, that's what's in your brand statement. And um, just, you know, from your own heart, let the, like, get it, live it. Like, what does that mean? You know, from the standpoint, from the, from the, from the book of Narasha, what, <laughs> what does that mean? Get it, live it. You know, what, what, you, you preach that sermon that the, the floor is yours. You know, I'm going to just sit back. I'm going to sit back <laughs> in the choir stand and enjoy this one, you know. Um, so actually, get it, live it came from my pastor. Um, typically, a lot of things that I do business-wise, uh, all that stuff like that. She's the person that I look what you think kind of a thing. And she came up with get it, live it. Um, and so I took it and I was like, okay, I like the concept because it's the, I think it's the hustle mentality that I have. Mm. It's the, you know what I'm saying? Like we talk about it a lot of times, but we talk about, let's just talk scripture real quick, write the vision, make it plain, right. but we're not doing no work. Right. The work is not going to happen for you. You got to get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then when you get it, you got to, you got to walk it out. You got to live that thing out. You got to live out what you believe. You know what I'm saying? You got to live out what you getting. So if, uh, it, it, t- it took for me to begin to wear my own apparel all the time, like, it's not a whole lot of times that I wear um, like store stuff unless, you know, I'm mm-hmm. dressing up or stuff like that. But for the most part, I wear my T-shirts. I wear my jackets. I wear everything that I have for the most part. I wear it, but not just that I wear it. The people around me wear it. I can any day I go with my friends. I'm like, oh, you guys got to wear the shirt. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> um, but just the, the statement overall of get it, live it. It's literally like get what it is in your mind. Get what it is that you're trying to get and live it out. Walk that thing out. You know, be a walking billboard for whatever it is that you're trying to do, whether it's apparel, whether it's uh, graphics, whether it's um, branding, uh, you name it. You know, you're trying to do um, a makeup line, whatever you're trying to do. I think when you have that 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 sense of like I'm I'm about to get this junk and then I'm gonna live it out and what living it out honestly is it's just you living out you're fulfilling the purpose in which you called yourself to do ultimately. 
Yo. Um, and when you believe in it, I think other people believe in it as well. I love it. I, I love especially the ending. I think we expect people to believe in things that we don't even believe in. You know what right. I'm saying? And it's like, yo, you, we want people to support us, but it's like, yo, like, you don't even believe enough in yourself. It's like, yo, you, you're trying <laughs> right. to get me to buy. You don't even wear your own stuff. Right. It's like, you're trying to get me to buy something, and it's like, bro, mm-hmm. you've never seen you wear your own gear. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, um, oh, man, see, if I had hoop triggers, you know what I'm saying? I could have, oh, I could have, we could have took you that. You know, everybody, <laughs> everybody watching Kobe, you know, laughing, you know what I'm saying? Everybody oh, in church goodness. laughing at Kobe, okay. but it's cool, you know, y'all, you know, <laughs> stay over there with Kobe it's cool we're gonna do our thing but um three 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 things real quick for anybody that's watching anybody that's thinking about okay everybody in their mom is talking about entrepreneurship talking about owning a business talking about creativity talking about this that and the third Uh, like I want to do it I don't know if I can Where, where do I start three steps like that, like that somebody can do three tangible things that somebody can do tonight when they get off of this live. Um, that's going to that's going to propel them um, a step further and being able to get it, live it, you know, get that thing off the ground. Um, three. They don't they don't. And they may not necessarily have to be in order. Just three things. If you had to tell anybody right now, yo, what's the next thing I need to do? Three. These three things. Make sure you get these done first before you do anything else. Uh Three things. One, make sure you're certain that this is what you want to do. Bam. Um, and, and and I know it's not, as far as being dedicated, it's not tangible, but at the same time it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, because if, it, if you get in your mind what it is that you want to do, write it down. Mm-hmm. You know, set your goals. I was clean, I'm moving, and, and so in the process of moving, um, I was going through one of my books, and one of my friends, I turned to it. And from, I think it was like in 2012, and I looked at it. And it said goals and what it is that I wanted to achieve. Mm. All of these things, I wrote it down and I looked, the name ambition was on there. I wanted to start my own clothing line. Um, I wanted to have this by this time and and all that stuff like that. And when I look back at it, um, I can look back and see everything that I said that I wanted to do um, has lined up for the most part. There's like a few different things that aren't, you know, that hasn't come into play just yet, but write it down. Um, I know some people don't believe in that. Some people are like, oh, I'm just writing it. Yeah, but when you go back two years later, when you yeah. go back two weeks later, it gives you something to work towards um, and stick with that. Um, I think the next thing uh, would probably be is to find a class. Find a, mm. cla- a, a class. Uh, they have a lot of free programs out here for entrepreneurs. Those are trying to be entrepreneurs, uh, especially for African-American women. Uh, I took a class uh, in uh, what's the school? Can't remember. <laughs> bring it, bring it to our remembrance, class. Lord. Bring it, bring it, yeah, bring it, Lord. Um, but they had a free class uh, where you can get you can get a, your certification, mm-hmm. and when you get your certification, it also it teaches you everything you need to know without having to pay for it. So find find one of those uh, classes where you can get you know your certification or courses rather where you can um, get your certification. Oh, it's Cornell University, and they were tied with Bank of America. Oh, um, so, okay. So, you know, find a class. Um, there's a lot of uh, sites. I think it's uh, Udemy or Udemy or, U- I don't know, U-D-E-M-Y. They have a lot of courses on there, um, and not just for women, but in business. And, right. you know, tidy up your skills. And, and then probably last uh, – Believe in what you want to do. Tell somebody about it. So that way they hold you accountable to what it is that you're trying to do. That's big. That's big. That's big. Um, I don't know. I think maybe Ken had to go. He said, uh, happy for you, bro. Looks great. Sounds great. Narasha, I'll see you at the top, friend. Um, Ken, um, quick pub for Ken. And also, when, while you were talking about the education and the learning piece, um, I want I I don't I'm gonna, I'm gonna jack this name up, but Ken, if you're still up here, you can drop the information in the comments. I think it's for Innovation and Entrepreneurship Center, like at Shaw. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's the name of it. I know um, he's done several workshops over there, and I've you know I've had a you know opportunity to, you know to go to some of their other programs. Yo, that is a great resource, especially those of y'all that live in Raleigh. That's right down the street. Mm-hmm. But um, that is definitely a great resource. Um. A lot of most, mostly every ta- every city or every county at least 
has a um uh and some type of SBA SBA yeah mm-hmm. some type of SBA organization um and they offer all kinds of free stuff like ridiculous, ridiculous. I'm a, everything like, I'm a, what in the world let me see how what, I can get right into all of this stuff right what put me on to them was when I was watching a show called Undercover Undercover Billionaire I think it was Undercover mm-hmm. Billionaire and and I was like wait a minute this place is like that and so then mm-hmm. I went and started looking I was like oh snap that's all right up the street let me go holler and see what they got but um, I think that's big. That that's real big. People leave out the education piece. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? A lot of people just jump in. Um, Marquez, what's good? Um, a lot of people just jump in. You know, try to get started, and it's like, right. I, you know, and and I think we've all been guilty of that to a certain degree. You know, sometimes experience is not always the best teacher because you you have some experiences along the way that you scratch your head. You be like, yeah, I probably could have done that different. But um, anytime you can, you know, educate yourself, you know. Um, on some things, you know, some principles, you know, to apply before you mm-hmm. even get into those situations, um, especially with business. You know, anytime you deal right. with somebody's money, things can get ugly real quick, quick which is another quick. reason I don't mind like family and friends. I don't mind not working with them because I'd be like, you know what? We can stay family and friends. I ain't got to right. ain't got to worry about you being mad at me and me being mad at you at the cookout. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I right. know there are those that are say, hey, well, you should just do good business. Yeah, you should. It don't always work out like that, though. You know, it can be mm-hmm. the smallest things that can actually damage or destroy a relationship. But but um, no, that's good. That that's great. Um. Yo, uh, and one last thing to mm-hmm. the education part, um, I think we sew everywhere else. They, you know, they teach us to sew in church. Um, and I think sometimes we forget that when we sew back into ourselves, um, that's sometimes where we see the greatest harvest. That's where we see the greatest growth. Um, and I'm saying that church doesn't do it because it does. Um, but when you sew back into yourself, so sewing back into yourself, taking that time, taking that, you know, three months to do the course, to do the class whatever it is to get certified um, because just because you don't have a degree doesn't mean that your certification is null and void. Um, and so again, I think making sure that you sew back into yourself um, is the most important thing. And again, not just with money, but with resources, with time and Facts. Um, education. Facts. Listen, party people. Um, I told y'all, y'all know, I really not, I really don't try to stay on this thing um, any longer then I have to, um, we're going to do this again, you know, because I just like using the Russia as a guinea pig, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? And so, you know, any, any time you can get, um, some free advertisement, some free publicity, I'm a, I'm a wear it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a run it in the ground till that axles break, but, um, I appreciate it. Oh no, 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 absolutely. I think, but I just, um, I want people to understand and I want people to realize and I want people to see um, the possibilities, especially right now. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And, and there's a huge, you know, there's a huge misconception going on. Um, there was a post going around the other day. You know, somebody made the post, you know, if you don't come out with a new skill, new business or mm-hmm. whatever on the other side of this, you're lazy. And then some people got mad and was like, yo, you know, you, you, you're lazy or you and you lack discipline. And then, you know, here comes the other crowd. You're not lazy. You don't lack discipline. I think you know? I saw that. Some people need rest. And I'm like, yo. I'm like, y'all got to understand everything has an audience. And so right. that post was not intended for people that need rest. Like, right. legit. Right. We take it personal. Right. Like, yo, like, for some people, COVID, like, you needed coronavirus. And, I, and I'm not and I please understand what I'm saying. I'm not trying to put a positive spin on it to the standpoint to say your positive is greater than somebody else's negative, you know, because I know people that have been personally affected. I know people who have family members that have died, you know. And so it's like I ain't putting a spin on it like that. But for some people, it's like this is the first time they've been able to rest. This is the first time they've been able to spend with their family. This is the first right. time they've just been able to have a break. You have another mm-hmm. group of people over here. This is this is traumatic. This is anxiety. Like they're right. about to go crazy. Right. They're about to lose their mind. Right. Then you have other people like myself that it's like, yo, thank you, Jesus. Because it's <laughs> like, I needed this time. And some people can attest to this. It's like, yo, 
I kept saying, I put it out there today. I was like, yo, 2020, this is it. Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm done. Like, I had been thinking it for the longest time. And I've, and, I've, and I've said some things to it to a degree, but I was like, no, I can't do this. Like, this mm-hmm. working stuff is is – is it's not overrated because I, I like money. I like being able to pay bills. I like benefits, but mm-hmm. I want to be able to do all of those things on my own terms. And it's like, okay, Absolutely. I know I can. It's just, okay. It's going to take a different level of work, a different level of ethic that I know I already have. It's just like, okay, now I just need the time. So it's like, mm-hmm. until I get to the point, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, here go my keys, here go my badge, whatever. Now I got to double up on the amount of work because it's like, now I got to work right. to be like, okay, I already know what my expenses are. I know what the budget is. So it's like, yo, now I got to really, 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 really hit the grind. And so I can right. be like, cause I got to replace my income. Like point right. blank period. Listen. Like, like you just can't jump out here and be like, yo, I'm going to be a full-time entrepreneur. No, you're not. You're going to be on the side of the road somewhere, you know, living somewhere with friends. Like, asking for a drink, right. uh, a little water. <laughs> right. Uh, and here's the other thing. I think people think just because you're not a full-time entrepreneur um, that you're not an entrepreneur. <laughs> you can work full-time right. and still do your business. You can right. still be an entrepreneur. You can go to school full-time, work full-time, right. do whatever you want to do. But right. if you're an entrepreneur, you're an entrepreneur. Point blank. Your status of, of work doesn't change. Point blank. And I think people, you use the word status, it's kind of like relationships. Like, mm-hmm. pe- people don't really want the work that comes along with it. They just want the status. It's a they status. Just want of, the status. You know, I'm they an want in- the title. <laughs> right. I'm an influencer. Like, what does that mean? Right. I- I'm an entrepreneur. Like, what does that mean? Like, what do you do? Like, a tree shall be known by the fruit that it bears. By I'm an apple tree. You got pears. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what, what, what do you do? You're just giving me a little shade. Right. It's like, yo, I appreciate the shade, but ain't no fruit, you know. And, right. and you doing me a disservice. You doing yourself a disservice. You cursing everybody, you know. But, um, yes, I'm, I'm excited. I'm glad um, to see what's happening, you know, and the people that I'm connected to, the people that I'm around um real quick you, you know your handle is on the screen and i was intentional and I, and y'all gonna see me do this because i know somebody's like why are you putting cash app information on the screen you know putting cash app information on the screen because again there i'm my goal is to one of my desires is to push people to the point where it, it just like sewing becomes secondary like i've had people yeah. to just i haven't asked for a dime and i've had people to just literally just give me money mm-hmm. like literally i didn't yeah. have, like literally just give me money and it's like okay this is 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 re is redefining my thinking in into okay mm-hmm. how 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 are we go how are we going to go about this so it's like yes i'm intentional in putting that information there because i need you to understand what it what it looks like to sow into good ground into good soil right. and a lot of you that have dreams, that have businesses, that have ideas. Like you have an example right in front of you of somebody who is like, I guarantee you she will tell you she's not even where she wants to be. But unfortunately, what she's already accomplished will be Mm -hmm. 10 times more than a lot of people we encounter. And that's the sad reality. Because again, people say it, but people don't really want to put the work in. And so, yeah, like you see the information there. Those of you that are watching the replay, hey man, you see that cash up right there. You see, I ambition life. You drop. I don't care if it's a dollar. Drop something in there. You know, you, you'd be you'd be surprised how far that goes. The level of support <laughs> that that goes to when, when you're getting wisdom, when you're getting knowledge. I'm not this same church. Like if we was in church and I asked you to sow a seed, you would sow it. Or maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. You know, we a different generation. I don't know. I don't we're know how this goes. Look, we're in a new era. Yeah, we're in a new era. You know, <laughs> COVID got people being kind of tight. You know what I'm saying? You know, but that's the best time. To, that's the best time to sow. People don't understand. That's the best time to people sow. People don't understand. When you're in a tight place. People don't understand. And 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 even I think about it while we're on it. You know, we're getting ready to close out. But even on the topic of entrepreneurship, it's like. You know, people are bailing out, people are selling, businesses are closing. And what people don't understand, like if you go back and look at the Great Depression, look at how many successful Fortune 500 companies today were born out of the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. Like when Mm -hmm. people were closing down, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying that people lack faith, that they lack zeal or whatever, determination, because look, you got to do what you got to do. 
but I'm saying that even in the midst of a famine, even in the midst of a recession, even in when like in the darkest hours, like yo, God said, let there be. And mm-hmm. people people was like, yo, everybody else shutting their doors. Hey, wh- what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> you know? Right. <laughs> right. We close our doors too. Like what the worst that can happen is that we home with everybody else. You know, so mm-hmm. so take a chance on yourself, you know, find you, get you and it might take some heartache, some heartbreak or whatever, but get you a team, get you a support system that's going to believe in you as much as you believe in yourself, if not more. And it's going to go as hard for you. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to drop this and then we're going to close out, you know, because I'm getting like a preacher. I didn't say that three times. Um, <laughs> find your, look, and also find your identity ooh, in your entrepreneurship. That's good. But I'm going to leave that one alone. That's my... good. See, now we definitely got to come back because that'll <laughs> preach. I'm gonna, I'm gonna that'll that preach. Alone. Um, the Asian community, um, I saw this article somewhere and, and I had this idea probably about five years ago. Some things you get, you realize it's out of season though. So this is going to come back to me probably this year, next year, but I was reading a post and it was based on this article of somebody asking, you know, this Asian lady, you know, why is it that y'all able to just get, you know, everything, you know, um, you know, y'all got all the, the hair stores and the, and the laundry mats and and the gas stations and all these and, and the convenience stores. And um, and one of the things she said is like, you know, it's a misconception. People think we just go to the bank and get whatever mm-hmm. we want. We ain't got no credit either, just like anybody else. <laughs> right. It was like, but what we do is we create these pools. And it mm-hmm. might be 10 of us in a pool. And every person in that pool might give $10,000. I mean, that was mm-hmm. a big number. I think she said 10000 Everybody in that pool gives $10,000 to get that business up and running. Mm-hmm. And then once that business gets up and running and starts turning a profit, they pay the pool back the money. So if that's 10 mm-hmm. people, 10000 that's 100000 you pay back the 100000 once you get good. And then they do it all over again for the next person and then do it all over again for the next person. And now everybody's up and running. And everybody, and so now everywhere you turn, it's like, yo, how are y'all taking over everything? Pull them together. Support. I encourage you. Go watch the B. Simone video. Um, yes. I, I, I shared it on my page. Look, I'm telling y'all, if you've never understood that teamwork makes the dream work, that is not a cliche. That is absolutely true. What would it look like for you to take the 10 people you talk to the most in your phone, text, call, whatever, not social media, because that's a front, but in your phone <laughs> that you spend the most time with, what would it look like if those 10 people went all in and say, yo, for the next six months to the year, we're going to help you get up and running? Like, what would that look like? Like, let's just say, like, I mean, what, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know too many people that know 10 people that can just give them $10,000. So let's just say you know ten people that maybe can drop you a thousand dollars. I think I, mm-hmm. I think that's reasonable. I think I hope y'all know ten people. Well, we well we got to do some real changing of our circle because network your network is your net worth. So if you don't know ten people that can drop you a thousand dollars, you need to start praying. Lord, I need you to start shifting my circle because <laughs> I need I need some money. I need I need some people that's got some capital. Um, mm-hmm. and you know, and here's the thing, they might, they might be wicked, you know, but that's another conversation. We don't, I'm not going <laughs> to get on the day because the wealth of the wick, you know, it's like, people don't understand. It's like, yo, I can't, I can't go in these places. I'm like, yo, well, you, you don't want, you don't want what it is you asking for. Right. It's like, right. he got it over there cause they smart. You know, that's what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all be getting mad at the devil. Sometimes you got to be like, all right, devil, you know, you got the money right now. Do what you do. You be smart. You can throw it in the stock market. You can trade it. You can do whatever you want to do. But when I come to get it, don't, we, you, you going to try to fight me for it, but I'm going to get it anyway because it's already mine. You might as well just let me have it. Now, you know, he's not going to do that, but it's mm-hmm. like, yo, let, don't, don't be asking for trouble with him. You know, you see, he got the money. <laughs> Hey, let it accrue interest, you know, but that go over some people. Hey, they be like, man, what the heck is you talking about? I'm like, look, I, I know where it's at. I know right. where it's at. And, I, and I'm going to tell you like this. It ain't in the pew sitting beside me because he didn't say it was there. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like if they got it, I got to go get it. 
you know that means somewhere is laid up for me right that means that means i got to be able to sit at the table so it goes back to the education you talk about it's like yo Mm -hmm. i gotta have a level of savvy and intellect you know to be able to sit at this table or i gotta have somebody that can do it for me i need an errand that can go in there Mm -hmm. and say hey i can't i I don't look the part you know but but you be the face you know and we can get this Mm -hmm. thing popping but again i told y'all that's another conversation for another day we're gonna talk about identity all of that we can get ready to close out Rasha, drop your handle, you know, anything else you want the people to know, how they can find you, how they can look you up, how they can research you, and then we're going to let the people go back to work or go to sleep, whatever it is they're doing tonight. <laughs> uh, my Instagram is at iambitionlife. That is I ambition life. And then my Facebook, of course, is my first and last name. And it's also um, Ambition Life Company on there as well. I typically tag it a lot. Um, and Cash App is also dollar sign I ambition life if someone feels um, led to do so. Um, but yeah, but outside of that, that's uh, how you oh, my website www.ambitionlifeco.com. Um, you can go on there, catch the eight dollar sale, um, because it's probably going to end tomorrow at eight o'clock. Uh, because we have been uh, working hard today for these orders that have come in, and so you know, to every person that has purchased, every person that has. Um, did something. Thank you. Uh, and and then to what you said, Walt, as far as um finding a circle of people that will push you. Uh, one thing I learned is uh when you and Elton, uh, you, you know, you all decided to um push me, <laughs> um whether it, I was ready or not. And on uh, one statement, Elton said to me, I was like, Elton, it's yeah, I just I don't, I gotta get all this stuff. He was like, man, if you're trying to make this money, you're trying to push your business. You ain't got time to wait for a week to get it done. Right. So I had to make do right then and there. Um, and so it was like the next day. And here we are, prepared, you know what I'm saying, and ready. And so for that, you know, I thank you all. Um, and a lot of times I think we are afraid that when we do that, uh, somebody is going to go over top of us or something like that. It's the crab mentality. I think we talked about that before. Facts, it's the, yeah. ultimate, the crab mentality. Um, but, yes, I don't want to uh, go any further on that. But I do say thank you all. Um, and that's how you – Find me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and my website. Absolutely. Listen, in the words of Reverend Kobe Mitchell, y'all need to sow tonight. Y'all need to sow. You need to sow a seed. You, <laughs> need, a thief. To, you need to sow a seed. You need to sow a seed. <laughs> Who watching? Who watching? Uh, Marquez, you need to sow a seed. What do you say? $10. You know what's crazy? He don't even ask for much. He'd be like, $10. You need to throw it. And Look, they I, I bet they so. I'm not laughing. They so for the laughter. Which is ridiculous. I'm like, yo, like, with all due respect, y'all stupid. Like, <laughs> and they so for the laughter. Like, you're stupid. Like, listen, Kobe might be legit. I ain't even getting into that. And 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 it ain't funny. But, you know, we, we've seen this movie 30,000 times before. But y'all so on to be funny. And I'm sitting here like, like, but he getting money in the get, midst of it. I guarantee you. I was like, yo, if he slip up and show his cash out one day, y'all going to be mad. And here's the thing about it. It's singers, entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. preachers, artists, musicians that be sewing, that be sharing. I'd be like, yo, y'all is blowing this dude up. And you think it's funny. He living. You can't, living. Get, some, you can't get somebody to stream your album for free. And this man out here getting $10 streams. What like he got 2000 people the lat but like before we went live there was 2000 people watching. Bro, if 10 people gave $10, that's $100. Right. <laughs> like at minimum at minimum. At minimum like we talking about $100 like nothing. And and Kobe go live like every single day. I think what sometimes twice a day. <laughs> Listen, he's getting money, your and, money. And y'all, y'all be sewing on accident. What happens right. when you sew on purpose? <laughs> All right, now I know I got to go because now <laughs> I don't, you know, I got stuff coming to me. But we, I'm going to leave with that tonight. You sewing on accident. What happens if you sew on purpose? I, I admonish you. I encourage you. Y'all see that cash app. You see I Ambition Life. Drop something in there. Like I said, I don't care if it's a dollar. Drop something in there. That's good ground. I promise you, 
heard what she like. You heard what she said. She got like eighty five orders in the day. You heard what she said. Yes, that, that eight dollar sale, eight o'clock tomorrow. That thing going. To, you better drop something in that cash app. You better drop something in there. Matter of fact, order something. Do one of the do one of the two. Either order something or drop something in the cash app or do both. Do both. Order fast. Order some hands. Listen. Or the t-shirt, whatever yeah, you gotta do. Yeah, but them t-shirts are going on sale tomorrow. I just want y'all yeah, to know that. Yeah, because y'all know you can't find no hand sanitizer nowhere, so you 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 might as well order some. You know what I'm saying? But listen, Narasha, thank you. I appreciate y'all that have hung out with us tonight. Um, there is another guy that's on trying to do just like him. He knows what's up. Yo, Deshaun, listen. Hey, man, they, they, they out here getting money. I, you know, we laugh about it. We joke about it. I know I can preach better than COVID. I can I can go on live and give you a real world a real word, throw some triggers behind it, and we can start raising some real offers. But I know what's gonna happen. They're not doing it for, look, they're not doing it for the preaching. They're doing it for the laugh. God gonna give me. God gonna let me get coronavirus because you know I'm gonna be out here playing. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even fit to mess with that. You know. But listen, y'all be easy. If nobody has told you today, I love you. I'm proud of you. Good night. Good morning. Uh, in about 15 minutes, those of you that are working late, whatever, um, peace be unto you. Um, yeah, coffee, whatever it, is, whatever it is that you did, that's going to help you burn that midnight oil tonight. Narasha, thank you. Y'all be easy. Tomorrow, probably not Thursday. I don't know. Y'all will hear from me tomorrow. We'll probably go live again Thursday. But y'all be easy. Thank you, ma'am. Good night. Yo, what's good, party people? Today's live stream is brought to you by Ambition Life Company, proudly owned and operated by Narashi Williams. Ambition Life Company is a life brand. It's not just a clothing line, ladies and gentlemen, but it's a lifestyle. You are what you wear. So get it, live it right now at ambitionlifeco.com. Listen, they got a huge $8 sale going on right now on the website. You need to get yourself fresh. Get yourself fresh, fellas, ladies, and the kids. Get the whole family fresh. Do yourself a favor, style your ambition, and grab your gear today. Check them out on Instagram at I'm Ambition Life. And listen, $8 today, only while supplies last. Get it, live it. Let's go.